Hello Scorpio and welcome to your November 2018 How Do They Feel About You video. And this is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio for November 2018? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel? Alright, let's see. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? For November 2018. Mm, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like they want you to open up to them, right? They want to get to know you on a deeper level. Okay. And we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they want to know you on a deeper level, Scorpio. And sometimes, you know, with this, with the Scorpio energy, sometimes it's hard for you to show that very, very deep emotion that you guys have, right? But they want you to give them a chance here, okay? They want a chance with you, Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio for November 2018? How do they feel about Scorpio? We're going to take a look at how they're feeling and if they'll take any action in regards to those feelings. Okay. Some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, however it resonates with you. If it, if it does resonate with you, Scorpio, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If it doesn't resonate with you at all, Scorpio, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel? Okay. All right. So they feel like you have a decision to make, Scorpio. Okay. And they just want a shot at the prize. Seriously, they want you to give them a chance. They want you to choose them. Okay. Okay. If, if you have a decision between two people, they want you to choose them. They want you to give them a chance. And that's kind of what I'm feeling like. But whatever this decision is, they feel like the ball is in your court. It could be between two people, two places, two things, right? Two of wands here. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So they just want a, a fair chance with you, Scorpio. That's They want you to choose them, okay? So they may be trying to talk to you. They want some good news. They want a, the decision to be made and you, you know, reach out to them and say, hey, right? They want um, communication here. They are very passionate about you. We have the Page of Wands here, more fire energy, a lot of passion here, passionate communication. Um, they just, they want to get to know you on that deeper level. And they want to know, they feel like, they feel like they didn't get a fair shot before, but that they're, they're still going to try. They're still going to try to communicate with you and, and hope and pray that you give them a, a chance here. Because they know that you, you've got a decision to make. And it, the ball is in your core here, Scorpio. All right. They see you as the single lady card. Male or female, it does not matter. Nine of Pentacles, this is earth energy. Someone that can take care of themselves, fiercely independent, right? Doesn't mind waiting for the right person to come along. Um, just in your garden, counting your Pentacles here. Kind of slow moving, however, especially when they're all fired up like they are. <laughs> Ready to, you know, get this ball rolling here. But I feel, they feel like, you know, you can take care of yourself, not only yourself, but everyone around you, abundance here, you, you're good, right? 
you're taking care of business and very independent and they really, really like that about you. They do, however, feel kind of left out in the cold right now. Maybe you shut them out emotionally and I feel like that's where, you know, getting to know each other. They want you to, re you know, talk to them, reveal your emotions to them, but they feel very um, left out in the cold. And I understand, you know, when the Scorpio feels caution or they feel like they could get hurt in a situation, they will shut down. And, you know, they just, you all just don't want to be hurt again. Um, but they, they want you to understand something on a deeper level. They want you to understand them and they want to understand you, understand where this is coming from. They feel shut out, especially emotionally. They don't want to lose you. They feel very alone here. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the decision simply may be, you know, to give them another chance to let them back in. They're still trying here with this Page of Wands. They're still trying to reach out to you, Scorpio. Okay? They're just trying to understand what's going on here. All right, any more information for Scorpio in regards to how they are feeling? How do they feel about Scorpio? Any action? Are they, they going to take any action here? Any more action? How do they feel about Scorpio? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they're, they're waiting for that decision, okay? They're waiting for a decision from you. They're looking out in the, the future. They're making plans. They could be even, you know, travel to see you with this card here. So they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for you to come back to them and give them another shot. All right, Scorpio, that's what this is. We have the Three of Pentacles, or sorry, the Three of Wands. This is Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And they want to offer their cup of love to you this card is known as a proposal all right king of cups this is water energy cancer scorpio pisces they have a lot not only do they have a lot of passion for you scorpio but they have a lot of love for you their emotions are running very deep here and they want desperately want you to open up to them this could be you know coming in the form of an apology even um but they want to, and again, they may want to travel to come see you, okay? Um, they want to get out of this turmoil right here. They want to get out of this dramatic time with you and move towards a more peaceful territory with you. The two of you may live at a distance from each other, Um but they could be tra making plans to travel to come and see you, to offer you their cup of love, to offer you an apology, to talk to you. They, they really want you to give them a shot here. And then we have this devil energy. So there could be, you know, too many people involved. Um, but what I'm really getting here with this card is... They could be a little bit obs obsessed with you, constantly thinking about this. This it's, They feel chained to you, okay? They really cannot let you go. They just so desperately want you to give them another shot here, a second chance here. Just one more chance, right? You are, you, they think about you quite a bit. You see in this card right here, the swords are our thoughts, right? They're taking all of these thoughts with them, okay? They, it's very hard for them to, to not think about you, all right? They just want to understand why you left them out in the cold here, okay? They're, they're having a hard time with that. They really, really are. So they may come back in and try to talk to you and try to apologize to you. And maybe, you know, they left you out in the cold for one reason or another. And, and they want another shot here, okay? It could be, you know, vice versa like that. But I feel like this card right here is more of an obsession, okay? It could be, you know, addictions or sexual um, 
addictions, drug addictions, alcohol, whatever, but all in all, I feel like it's, it's an obsessive kind of feeling here when they think about you, okay? They're trying to understand not only why they, they still feel very chained to you, Scorpio, but why there's, you know, you've kind of shut down on them emotionally and they want to come in for another shot here and, and to know you on a very deeper level. They want you to share your emotion with them, okay? So, they're definitely coming back in, trying to communicate, could even be traveling to you with these two cards here, so just know that. All right, so that's what we have for you, Scorpio, for November 2018 in regards to how they are feeling, okay? So, I go live Sunday through Thursday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, for the daily message, Friday is the live Love Luster Loss, also around noon Eastern Standard Time, so check all that out. Um, what else? Next week, I will be getting out the mid-month check-ins for November already, so check that out. And I did make you guys um, some Scorpio merchandise that is up. Um, you can find the link down below or in my About section or in the community section as well. So check all that out. You guys have a beautiful week and take very good care of yourselves and God bless.